every now and then i should eat tablets i used to take uh, medicines like a rotor caps i take 5 uh, to 6 tablets sometimes i even take 10 tablets after taking that also i won't have relief uh, earlier for him to pray for them that is why he is calling the people so i told mummy uh, come on let us go back but at that time finally he called out my name doctor has warned me not to take uh, cold things and especially curd but uh, last night also i ate curd nothing has happened to me tell the name of jesus jesus you have shed your blood on the cross and has given the compensation for me so the diseases due to the curses the problems the losses everything will be disappeared viewers in the name of lord jesus christ we are very happy to greet you to this program entitled miracle time maybe you are in a situation where medical field has given up hopes of recovery or maybe you are in a stress whatever it may be while you watch this program continuously with faith the god who does miracles and wonders will surely do a miracle for you today without fail He is the God who does countless miracles and wonders beyond our imagination. Please watch this program with faith. Now you are going to see a beautiful testimony. After that, Brother Mohan Singh Lazarus is going to give you God's message, and he will pray for you. This is your miracle time. My name is Elizabeth. I am staying in Palladam in Coimbatore. My husband is going for work and I have a son. I have wheezing problem for 13 years. When I was studying school I had this wheezing problem and they didn't send me to school for one year I didn't go. Every now and then I should eat tablets. I used to take uh, medicines like a uh, rotor caps. I take 5 uh, to 6 tablets. Sometimes I even take 10 tablets. After taking that also I won't have relief. When I have wheezing I can't do any work at home I can't sleep if I walk in water also I get wheezing likewise even if there is some dust immediately I'll be affected whenever I get wheezing problem I used to think why should I live I should commit suicide when I get wheezing I used to suffer a lot I can't even get up and walk I went to so many doctors but everyone said uh, this is hereditary so we can't do anything about it this cannot be cured at all they said they said i have to suffer like this way life long because of this wheezing problem i suffered for 13 years At that time one day uh, brother Mohan Singh Lassars came to Tirupur on May 1st to attend a prayer meeting there uh, we also went there and the message was very good i had taken the tablets with me because i had a wheezing problem at that time so i had to take the medicines before going to the house that is why i had taken the tablets after the sermon brother prayed for everyone towards the end he said whoever has uh, any problems anywhere in the body uh, keep the hands over there and i will uh, pray for you i also did the same thing i cried and prayed while praying he was a uh, uh, the calling somebody's name and uh, i thought uh, probably they would have given the names uh, uh, earlier for him to pray for them that is why he is calling the people so i told mummy uh, come on let us go back but at that time finally he called out my name and i thought i will get a miracle there because i was about to go home uh, he said uh, she has a hereditary disease it is asthma and that is going to be cured elizabeth the lord saw your tears daughter elizabeth the disease you have got has been passed on for generations 
you have been told that this disease has been passed on to you through your sins you were very heartbroken as jesus bore all these sins on the cross today you will be redeemed through his name by the name of lord jesus christ the disease will leave you immediately you will start seeing the changes from today praise the lord from your heart after uh, he called out uh, my name from that time onwards i didn't have any breathing problem no uh, suffocation also when i get this wheezing problem i used to cough a lot i will not be able to breathe freely but after that i had no problem after that uh, meeting i don't have uh, this wheezing problem i don't take any tablets now i sleep very well before 2:00 uh, o'clock 3:00 o'clock i used to get up but now i sleep very well i am taking all cold things nowadays doctor has warned me not to take uh, cold things and especially curd but uh, last night also i ate curd nothing has happened to me suffered a lot due to this wheezing problem but after attending brother mohan si lazarus uh, prayer meeting jesus touched me and uh, he delivered me from this uh, wheezing problem i thank uh, jesus christ my dear friends i am greeting all of you in the name of lord jesus christ This is your miracle time. You are going to receive a miracle today. That is why God is speaking to you through this testimony. You have just seen a real incident that took place. That girl has testified her miraculous healing and shared with you the miracle that took place in her life. For 13 years a horrible disease she had that sickness when she was very young she had breathing problem she had wheezing problem wheezing if there is any dust immediately she will get wheezing if she eat certain things it will come she took many tablets she could not sleep in the night a very difficult situation 13 years of pain sometimes she thought of committing suicide what a lot of pain you see sickness it's a very horrible thing headache and fever if only we get we will know that's what we'll say only when we get it we will know the difficulty i was sick when i was 14 my heart was swollen and i was in death bed i had breathing problem couldn't drink water couldn't eat food could not sleep i used to think why night is coming when night comes i used to think when the sun will rise during day and night i suffered pain that poor daughter was suffering for 13 years that could not be cured because it was a hereditary disease her grandparents had it it was a disease from generations it cannot be healed doctors said just for a temporary relief she can take tablets my dear friends Nowadays some diseases are said to be hereditary disease they say it cannot be cured you can just take tablets and maintain a little longer we have heard doctors saying like that we have also experienced that if a hereditary disease affects us like this jesus said i will bless you for generation i will show you mercy for thousand generations he gave his promise that he'll bless you for generation to generation then why this happens for generation like this my dear friends there are many reasons for having a disease when we go beyond the nature's law there will be a chance to be attacked by disease when you eat any food which does not suit your body there is a chance to be attacked by disease when the germs of disease spread in our place if you have not taken any precaution you will be attacked by disease Bible says about getting a disease due to the sins we do. 
we read in the bible about people getting affected by disease due to evil spirits like this there are many reasons amongst them one is the disease which comes due to curse if you have a disease from generation to generation it means there is a curse behind that particular disease that is why it is going from generation to generation god says like this in exodus chapter 20 that curse will follow for four generations he is a god who judges us bible says there is a chance of getting a disease due to curse then we cannot heal the disease because it is following us for generations medically they wash their hands saying we cannot do anything what can we do then i would like to give you a good news jesus he is the good news the savior called jesus he is the one who can change our curse when we say curse what is the compensation for that if we do compensation it will be okay what should we do we tell each one differently spend this much of money do this do that if you do compensation your curse will be removed you will not be affected when you spend money and try to compensate for your curse please understand this it will not give you a real freedom it may give you a temporary freedom but it will not give you a permanent freedom that cannot be a real freedom but when you come to god you will be released freely you will have free healing you need not spend money for that in the name of compensation you need not do this or that anymore faith that's all because our father is going to do compensation for us and gives us freedom he will not demand from children if you want healing give me that give me this bible says jesus is a compensation for us he says i am the god who does compensation for you he is our compensator he is the compensation he is the compensation for our sins and curses in the name of compensation sometimes we give sacrifices but they can never give you a real freedom in life we are humans for our own sins and for our curses a human blood should be poured a pure blood should be sacrificed for that god became man lived a pure life and shed his pure blood on the cross for us that is why jesus christ is the compensator i went to a house in chennai once where i used to live whenever i go for a ministry an old man who belonging to a brahmin family he came to see me he somehow heard about me and came to meet me there i was sitting and talking to him he is very old when i was talking i asked him how do you know about me i am watching your programs on tv i'm hearing your speech that is why i came to ask you to pray for me i asked for what i have to pray for you he said for the compensation of my sins and curses i want freedom from these sins and curses i came to pray for that he said i asked him why did you come to me for prayer you have told jesus is the compensation for the sins and curses he has done the compensation for us by shedding his blood on the cross you have said that the blood of jesus which was shed on the cross has given us freedom from our sins and curses for free of cost i believe it i trust that that is why i came to you for praying for me have you seen the faith in that man he didn't bring anything he came with the belief in jesus after the prayer he was very happy everything is gone all my sins and curses have gone i am going very happily now he said that is jesus he is our compensator he shed his blood on the cross and died for our compensation tell the name of jesus jesus you have shed your blood on the cross and has given the compensation for me so the diseases due to the curses the problems the losses everything will be disappeared the works of satan who bring curses to us will be destroyed forever immediate relief so the disease she had for 13 years 
When she cried and prayed, Jesus heard her prayer, felt sympathy for her and called her name and removed that cursed disease which they were suffering for generations. She got recovery. She got healing at that moment itself. She got healing at that moment itself. After that, she did not take tablets and medicines. Complete healing, peaceful sleep. That is Jesus. Just like this, he will give you healing. Today, he will do it for you. Are you suffering with the disease for generations? I have been taking a lot of medicines, but the disease has not gone. I am simply taking medicines and living like this. Do you say like this? Today, you will be healed. That curse will go away from you. Look at Jesus Christ. He became the curse for us on the cross. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 says, Jesus became curse for us on the cross. For you he submitted his legs and hands to be pierced by nails and was hanged on the cross and was called a cursed man. Jesus submitted himself to die on that cursed wooden cross and turned that curse into a blessing. He is the compensation for the curse. Jesus, let all the bondages of my curse be removed. Let all the works of the curse be destroyed forever. Let the curses of generation be removed. Let the diseases, weaknesses, losses, problems, shame, poverty for generations be removed forever. If you pray like this with faith, you will see a change from today onwards. To believe. God has brought a beautiful testimony in front of you. A disease for 13 years was cured in a fraction of a second and she is very healthy today. You can meet her if you have doubts. Go and meet her in person. You can talk to her. Jesus is a wonderful God. He gives freedom freely. He gives healing freely. Now, wherever you are sitting, Jesus, this disease which is following me for generations should go away now. The works of the curse should be destroyed. Problems of poverty, deaths, pains, shame, insults for generations should go away completely. Will you pray that the curses should be removed? Will you pray along with me? Keep your hands on the chest. Think of Jesus on the cross. You have become the curse for me on the cross. Will you pray, Jesus, give me and my family freedom from this curse? Your pains and disease will be removed forever. Let us pray. O oh, Father, you are the God of miracles. You became curse for us on the cross. You have carried all my curses on the cross. When you were hanging on the cross, having the crown of thorns, you took all my sins yourself. You gave compensation for all my curses and we thank you for that. Your children are praying with tears, O oh Father, please remove their curses. Let the diseases for generations be removed. Let the poverty be removed. Let their debts and curses be removed now. Please see these children who say, Jesus, have mercy. Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the power of your blood descend on them. Let the bondages of curse be broken in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the evil spirits which bring the works of curses on them. Sprinkle your blood on them and let the bondage of curse be broken today. In the name of Jesus, let the bondages of curse for generations be broken now. Let them be broken. Let them get freedom from now on. In the name of Jesus, let the diseases due to curse be removed. Asthma disease, cancer disease, TB disease, arthritis and all sorts of allergies on the body and all the disease that follows them for generations should be removed in the name of Jesus. Let those evil spirits which bring those diseases go away in the name of Jesus. I am sprinkling your blood on them and praying for their healing. Let them have a change at this moment itself. Let them feel good health and recovery now. You have touched them, their diseases have gone. A miracle has taken place. I believe that and thank you, Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, O Father. Amen, Amen. My dear friends, God has done the miracle. Now test yourself. You are healed completely. Your disease is gone forever. A change from today. The bondage of curse has been broken. You are blessed now. Tell Galatians 3.13 and praise God. You have carried my curse. You have carried the curse of my family on the cross. Jesus, we praise you. You have blessed us. Say this and praise him. You will see the changes. Amen.